This documentary is on the unsinkable ship, the story of the Titanic. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. The Titanic is one of the most famous and tragic maritime disasters in history. It was a passenger liner that set sail from Southampton, England, on April 10, 1912, bound for New York City. It was considered to be one of the most luxurious ships of its time and was said to be unsinkable due to its advanced technology and design. However, the Titanic struck an iceberg on the night of April 14, 1912, and sank less than three hours later, resulting in the loss of over 1,500 lives. The sinking of the Titanic has become a symbol of human hubris and a reminder of the dangers of taking safety for granted. The Titanic was built by the White Star Line, a British shipping company, and was the largest ship in the world at the time. It was 882 feet long and 92 feet wide, with a gross tonnage of 46,328. The ship had nine decks and could carry over 2,400 passengers and crew. The Titanic was equipped with the latest technology, including electric elevators, a heated swimming pool, a Turkish bath, and a wireless communication system. The ship was designed to be both luxurious and safe, with watertight compartments that were supposed to keep the ship afloat even if several of them were breached. The Titanic's maiden voyage was highly anticipated, and many prominent figures were among the passengers. These included millionaires, politicians, and celebrities, as well as immigrants seeking a new life in America. The Titanic set sail from Southampton, England, on April 10, 1912, and made stops in Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, Ireland, to pick up additional passengers and cargo. The voyage proceeded smoothly for the first few days, and the passengers enjoyed the ship's amenities and the beautiful weather. However, on the evening of April 14, 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean. The collision caused significant damage to the ship's hull and led to the flooding of several compartments. The crew attempted to control the flooding by sealing off the damaged compartments, but it soon became clear that the ship was in serious trouble. The Titanic began to list to one side, and the passengers were ordered to put on life jackets and make their way to the lifeboats. However, there were not enough lifeboats for everyone on board, and many of them were launched only partially filled. The situation on board the Titanic was chaotic and confusing, with conflicting orders and a lack of communication between the crew and passengers. Many of the passengers were unaware of the severity of the situation and remained in their cabins or continued to enjoy the ship's amenities. Others were unable to find their way to the lifeboats or were prevented from doing so by language barriers or social class restrictions. As the ship began to sink, the situation became increasingly desperate. The lifeboats that had been launched were unable to return to the sinking ship to rescue more passengers, and many of them capsized or were lost in the rough seas. The temperature of the water was near freezing, and most of the passengers who ended up in the water quickly succumbed to hypothermia and drowned. The RMS Carpathia, a nearby ship, responded to the Titanic's distress call and arrived on the scene several hours later. The Carpathia rescued the survivors, but over 1,500 people lost their lives in the disaster, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. The sinking of the Titanic had a profound impact on the world, and it has become a symbol of human fallibility and the dangers of overconfidence. It also led to significant changes in maritime safety regulations, including the requirement for ships to carry enough lifeboats for all passengers and crew and the establishment of an international ice patrol to monitor the presence of icebergs in the North Atlantic. Additionally, the disaster prompted improvements in ship design and technology, including the development of new safety features such as double hulls, improved watertight compartments, and better communication systems. The sinking of the Titanic also had a significant cultural impact, inspiring numerous books, films, and songs. One of the most famous works inspired by the disaster is James Cameron's 1997 film, Titanic, 
which won 11 Academy Awards and became one of the highest grossing films of all time. The film has helped to keep the memory of the disaster alive and has introduced the story of the Titanic to a new generation. Despite the passage of time, the sinking of the Titanic remains a subject of fascination and interest for people around the world. Numerous museums and exhibitions have been established to commemorate the disaster and to educate people about its historical and cultural significance. The wreck of the Titanic, which was discovered in 1985, has also become an object of study for scientists and researchers, providing valuable insights into the technology and design of early 20th century ships and the conditions on board the Titanic during its final hours. In conclusion, the sinking of the Titanic was a tragic and avoidable disaster that claimed the lives of over 1,500 people and had a profound impact on the world. The story of the Titanic has become a symbol of human fallibility and the dangers of overconfidence, as well as a testament to the resilience and bravery of those who survived the disaster. The legacy of the Titanic lives on today through the improvements in maritime safety regulations and technology that were inspired by the disaster, as well as through the numerous cultural works that have been inspired by its story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest videos. Thank you.